it's Shadows and today I'm just going to be talking about just like reading in general. Um, I didn't have a specific like thing that I wanted to say. Um, just like reading in general. So yeah, let's go. So I have always really, really enjoyed reading. Um, when I was younger, I mean, I didn't read a whole lot. Um, but then when I got around the age of 10, 11, then I started reading a lot and a lot. Um, I just love books. Um, I actually had a best friend who um, loved reading so much and she's the one who kind of got me into it, which I'm very grateful for. So I just generally really like reading. The thing that annoys me so much is that um, nowadays I just don't have the time. I get so much homework. I do so much stuff like YouTube and I think that that just reduces the amount of time I get to actually you know just sit down and read a good book especially since you know at school you have to read a lot of books for school um I know during the holidays I have you know two books I have two books to read just for school um and you know it's just it's a bit challenging sometimes just to balance everything out which I find is a real real shame but I still managed to find like a bit of time to read. I try and read as much as I can during the holidays. Like I had two weeks off right now and I read two books. One being, I finished, well, I finished one book, um, The Night Circus. And then I read another one, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, which I loved those two books. They were really, really good. Um, but then I also had to read a few books for school. So that's why I only got to like kind of read two books, which I'm still like pretty happy with. Another thing about me is just I buy so many books which I just never get around to reading. Um, I bought Gone Girl which you know is like the best selling book, out, that was the best selling book at one point. You know the story apparently is amazing. I haven't watched the movie um, I really want to read the book before but I haven't gotten around to actually reading the book. Um, I just I really have to so I bought this literally two months ago, haven't started it um, and yeah so we're going to have to, uh, we're going to, have to start that soon um you know it's it's a decent sized book it's like how many pages yeah it's like it's like 460 pages so it's not like a super quick read either which i kind of gravitate towards since i'm so busy but yeah another book that i bought which i honestly don't know what i'm gonna read is this one and it's called um Alan turning the enigma so if you've seen um what's the movie the movie The Imitation Game so I went to see it and I absolutely loved it um one of my favorite movies by far um like one of my favorite movies and you know at the end of the movie it said it was based on a book so I'm like oh I'm gonna buy that book um so I got it I don't know when I'm gonna read it it is a really big book um I don't know if you can see that it is 700 pages long and the writing is really really small um so I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading it, but I'm really excited to read it. Um, it seems really interesting. I mean, Alan Turning is a very interesting man. He's done so much and I respect, you know, him, um, like, so much. I never really heard about him before. Like, obviously, I had, I'd been to Bletchley, which is where the computer is, and I'd seen it. So I kind of knew a bit about him, but not, like in-depth history and stuff. So I really wanted to, uh, to read this book, especially after seeing the movie, which I really loved. Um, but once again, you know, I don't know when I'm going to have the possibility to read this book. But I will find. And I just realised, looking through it, they also have a few pictures. So that's cool. They have one page with pictures. I think that's the only one. Um, oh no, yeah, they have a few pictures inside. Uh, just like, they have like a couple pages with pictures, which is really cool. Um, you know, considering it's like a true story and stuff. So yeah. Another thing about reading, um, I've really been into like not necessarily like books books but kind of like lifestyle kind of books for example you can see in the back there i have the tanya burr um book which uh, it looks like this it's really really nice um and it's just like a bunch of different lifestyle stuff like about um her life beauty fashion um cooking um like stress like manage your stress and stuff um youtube just a bunch of stuff and i just like these kind of light reads um and i also what i really love about these kind of books is that the covers are usually so beautiful and they're just really nice for room decor i find um so yeah that's a really really cool kind of uh kind of book so yeah that's kind of my relationship if i can say with reading and with books um, comment down below if you enjoy reading and what kind of books you enjoy reading. I think my favourite kind of books are, I'm really into YA. I'm, I'm really into young adult books, so like anything dystopian and stuff, but sometimes I like to gravitate away from that. I love like 
thrillers and mystery books, romance, I'm absolutely in love with romance, um, just a bunch of books. And comment down below what your favourite books because I really want to know, I love reading so I'd love to know what your favourite books are and I'll see you next week, bye!